Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We're over at Port Hypermind, not the Iron Farm this time. Something a little different that we're going to start out with. Last time we were here, we did not get our storage room done. That's right. We got the hole dug. We got it lined up. We got the plans going, but we did not get a chance to get to it. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. That's right. Last time we were here, we started on our storage system by digging out our project area and getting our, our system kind of laid out, or at least the plans for it laid out. We're going to be using a design by Tango Tech that provides sorted storage, and we're going to be using shulker boxes attached to it so that we can have all of our items sorted. And we don't have this huge storage system. Instead, we're going to use something a little bit smaller we should be able to get most everything in here except the bulk items. And then after we're done with the sorted stuff, then we'll get into bulk storage. So uh, the, the design by Tango Tech, you can take a look at his tutorial in the description box below. I'm going to be following that, so I'm not going to bring you along for the build, but it is a modular system and each module is four wide. So you've got two lines. There's some hidden redstone behind that column and behind that column. And then our chests go right in here. And then there's additional redstone behind that and down below it. So we're not going to do it up here because we don't have enough room above. We'd be going up into the main road area. And we don't have enough room behind. So we're actually going to go down here where I've set out my project chest. And we should be able to just drop. And I've got Feather Falling 4. So if I happen to drop, not a problem. So we take a look here. We've got a bunch of stuff in the redstone goodie bag and what a bunch of droppers we'll probably need more, but we could probably get a few modules, maybe a couple of modules done with what we've got here, but we've got plenty of materials that we can easily get what we need after that. So I'm going to get started on that. We're not going to do it right down here at bedrock. We need a little bit of room down below. So we'll probably go up to where just above the mining area and i'm sorry if you've heard that it sounds like some people are getting rid of some more yes we're still getting rid of fourth of july fireworks so anyway i am going to go off camera build those modules i'll bring you back and hopefully we can get some of our sorted stuff going all right it is time for a little progress report I thought I'd be much further along, but I underestimated how much real estate this whole thing was going to take. So if we come down here, we can see, well, I've dug out a lot. We are going to be wrapping this in cobblestone just to make sure that whenever people come through, if they happen to run across it, they'll think, oh, hey, somebody is building something here. But we still got three more layers to go to have enough space for all the redstone for each of these modules. You can see kind of how these modules are going to be laid out. We've got the intake areas right there. And did I leave myself? I didn't really leave much of a way to get in there other than maybe right here. And you can see where I've put my, uh, what is the word? The floor for this thing. It's going to be right here. And you can go down a little bit because you can reach down. Oh, hello, creeper. Got him. And then reach up. So that's all going to be filled with shulker boxes and then we're going to go from there. But I've still got some work to do. Got to clear out some more, more area there and then get started on the redstone back in a bit. So I said I was going to be using the Tango Tech design for this silent sorting system with a little bit of a twist. We're going to use the ZF twist with some shulker boxes. We're going to kind of mix and match. I'm going to have some regular chests and trap chest right here for more bulk items that really don't maybe you don't need as many but we'll put some bulk items there maybe more like the logs and, and saplings and stuff like that and then for the shulker boxes these things are going to travel with us so kind of what we bring along with us in the inner chest well we'll have those just hanging out right here so uh, we'll essentially be like like this trap chest there and then regular chest like so and like so 
and then we'll mix and match some shulker boxes in between there. I don't quite know the sorting scheme I'm going to do, like which shulker boxes are going to go where. Still got to figure that out, but let me show you how all of this is connected together. We've got this central trap, yeah, trapped chest right here, and you can just throw some items in here. And once those go through, we've got the, the line that goes around here. You can see the system already kicking in and and yeah it's it's working okay so it's done its thing almost and there we go it should be all done yep and then what we'll do is go take a look at at that but so that that trapped chest leads into this hopper line which goes into this module then that's going any leftover is going to feed into this module which then goes all the way around okay so that's just part of the way the design is if you go watch the tutorial which should be a link for it in the description box below uh, that's how it's supposed to go so you just hook all those modules together and then eventually uh, once you throw items in here if you fill up your chests with various things uh, it should sort it out correctly because one item and one item only is going to be passing through that hopper at any time so or per tick and so the the hopper will have a chance to push that item into an attached inventory uh, rather than having it sucked out by the hopper below it. So that's really just, that's how it works. So just uses some redstone circuitry to force the hopper to go into push mode before the hopper below goes into pull mode. That's how that works all the way around. We've got some short circuiting right here. So if we've got items that we know need to go in here into this module, we can just chuck them in there rather than in there and waiting for them to go all the way around. And I've got short circuit modules all the way around like that. Now, one other thing to take a look at down here is that any overflow from that module right there is going to go down into that array of chests. And so that way, uh, if we don't happen to account for something in our sorting system, it's going to be taken care of down there. All right. So that's the sortable stuff. How about all the bulk items that we've got? Well, that's going to be from another uh, brilliant redstoning YouTuber uh, by Il Mango or by the name of Il Mango. You may have heard of him. You may have seen stuff that I've done with his things on the channel before. We're going to build up his system real quick here just so you can see what's going on. And then he's got a tutorial for it. At the time I was originally planning on putting this together, he didn't have a tutorial for it. It was just an Imager post uh, attached to another thing that he had, uh, another sorting system he had done. I'm going to put that there and then that like so. And the way this works is that you've got a dispenser that can automatically uh, push out items. Well, the whole system detects when a shulker box is full or when it's not full and then will um, well it'll push the shulker box down and that way it'll collect the shulker box down here in that chest which I can't mess with right at the moment because it's covered but full shulker boxes will go into that chest right there and then this dispenser will shoot out a new one whenever it gets a chance to so at this point, we need to maybe grab, um, well, actually what we need to do is I need an easier way of getting up onto that. And this is a bit, bit uh, hard to just walk around and do, kind of hard to walk at your bubble gum right now. But what we've got is an observer right there, and that's pointing towards a redstone repeater just on one tick and then what that does is that goes into a piston which we should uh you know what we're gonna have a hopper into there so then we can take this piston and go like so and then that has an observer which we can grab right there and right like that and then that's gonna go when the piston pushes up it's going to go into a repeater that is on two ticks. And then what we do is we come down. How about like that? Let's grab our dirt and that should give us 
No, you know what? It doesn't quite give us what we need. Let's go down like that and then grab the piston and go up like that. Okay. And then what we do is we get our hoppers, put that into there and that was a single tick. Maybe that's not a problem. Who knows? Maybe that's not a problem at all. I I don't know. It was a single tick. It threw that observer up in the air. Well, let's let's see. Let's go a little bit further out from this. We come out one like that. And as I've done before, and I've explained numerous times before, we use nether brick here because nether brick is not affected by haste to and efficiency. No, no, no. So I know that whenever I encounter nether brick around my builds, I know that there is redstone nearby. And so I need to be careful when I'm digging. And yeah, that, that keeps me from getting into trouble with anything like that. Uh, yeah, that should be good. And then maybe face this one here. And... And yeah, let's throw a couple of shulker boxes into here. How about like this? No, nothing, nothing. Okay, so that pushes out a shulker box right there. Okay. And then when that's full, no, let's do that and do that. Okay, so that pushes the shulker box, breaks it. And then, yeah, throws it down. Okay. So then we can collect full shulker boxes. This is not a good example. It's just going to have kind of a mix and match of stuff. But what we need to do is put together these things in um, more of an array. And this is not the place that I want that to happen. I want that to happen a little higher up in my, my storage area here. Let's grab that. And then we'll put, uh, no, not that. I need to right click like that and like that. Do we have any, oh, it's not gonna let me put any torches. Yeah, there we go. Okay, because I don't want anything spawning down here. We should be good. All right, so let's go upstairs. That's just the bulk storage system that I'm going to use. I'm, per, I'm gonna make another floor above this one and all the bulk storage is gonna go in an array around us kind of like we've done with the silent sorting one but bulk stuff will go up there so anything we throw into the whole system will first go through the bulk storage and extras will come into this sorting system and then anything extra will go down into the overflow down below and so we can always check it but to figure out how much we actually need to build for our bulk storage system we have to figure out what all we are storing all around in our various storage things. So uh, let me put away this material. We'll grab out our elytra and firework rockets and we'll go to our couple of different project sites and get an accounting of what we need to store. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, here we are flying back from the witch farm to spawn. And I had thought that I recorded some stuff there over at the witch farm, but apparently no. I hit record after I had finished talking and then once we get to spawn, well, that's when I stopped this recording. So uh, suffice it to say, we grabbed the items that we needed for the bulk storage. And I also told you that during the month of August, I'm not going to be putting out any videos on uh, on the Fridays. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break. We've got some vacation coming up. We've got some family sickness health stuff to take care of. And so just wanted to give you a heads up there. But we, here we are flying over Fort Hypermine and uh, going into spawn and that's going to be it and i'll join you back at our main storage area all right we are back down here under port hypermine house let's take a look we've got what one two three four five six seven eight nine nine across so what we could do is we could have seven right here and seven over here and just do two-sided like that rather than four-sided. Maybe we do that. So uh, seven and seven, okay. 
because we've got we have 14 items in here. Do you foresee anything extra that we might be needing to to have in bulk storage? Oh, we got the major things: cobble, stone, dirt, gravel, sand. Anything else? I I don't know. Maybe you can tell me, and maybe we can just leave it as seven and seven for now, or seven and seven, or seven and seven. Ooh, I I don't. Maybe seven and seven, just to keep them close to each other, and then maybe this side becomes, uh, I, I, I don't know, a crafting or potion brewing area. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, um, just just some ideas here. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna build the bulk storage system here and here, have it all connect together, and then have it all feed down into our extra line right here, and then. Uh, maybe we'll do some decorating off camera as well. But um, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit for you. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a little bit for me. Um, well, very short amount for you. A little bit longer for me. All right. Back in a bit. Well, there's been a little bit of a change. Take a look at this. I have spread out some of these shulker boxes all around. And as I was starting to do the math a little bit, I remembered we've got eight sections here. And with having these chests up here and shulker boxes right in the middle, we've got eight shulker boxes in each section. So eight times eight, that's 64. You divide that by 16, you've got four. So we can have four of the same kind or same color of these shulker boxes. So I think I'm gonna take care of that off camera. Now, if we take a look in here, you'll notice that I have not filled this thing up. Um, well, I just picked that up, let's put a stick in there. I'm going to be using a stick as filters for the time being just to push everything into uh, or at least all the way down into our extra storage but uh, we're not worried about this section so much. Let's go up one section to right here and we'll take a look at our bulk storage and come back and hopefully I don't meet with anyone back here. No we we saw this, this is a slice, or this is actually seven slices over here of the storage and seven slices over here. And what we need to do is get up top and do the filters, and then we'll come down here and put a little indicator in place. But I've already started a little bit of the design process, but I've come to the conclusion we are not going to finish this whole thing in this episode and some of you might not be so happy about that but we've got to do what we need to do so uh, let's come in here and figure out our overall uh, what is it overall filter thing process here let's do this and let's bring up the green shulker box like so and what we need to do is make a little room like this do we need all of that there no, we should have plenty right there. Seven. Yeah, so we'll have seven across. So we're going to do stone, granite, diorite, andesite, cobblestone, dirt, and then grass. Okay, and then we need to bring our filters down. I've already renamed those. And let's grab our shulker box here. Okay. And I'm going to start over on this side. And you've seen me do this before. You just put all this in. And then I'm going to leave one. And we'll put the rest in there. Okay. And that should start filtering down into the shulker box that is sitting at the very bottom. So hopefully that's the case. If not, well, we'll be in for a little bit of a treat. Yeah. If it's not working correctly. So the reason I am leaving one of those, you'll see in just a moment. But uh, what we need to do is just fill all the rest of these in. It's the first time we're getting this whole situation, this whole thing started, which is kind of exciting. We're getting our our whole sorting system going. And we got what, one more right there. And put that in like so. I've got my shulker box. And what we'll do is go down to the very bottom right in here and we need some sort of an indicator of what goes in under each or in each of these things just at a glance and that's why we're leaving one so we'll put stone and this way we don't have 
um, a mess of, oh yeah, I have extra cobblestone showing up. That's not right. Cobblestone, okay, I see what happened. Let's see, stone, granite, diorite, andesite, cobblestone, this. I had extra right there. And so that means that my dirt should go there. And then the grass, hopefully it stays grass and doesn't turn into dirt. I put a light right there, so that should be fine. And then we'll come do the same thing. That's the filter. Now, did I use up? But no, I've got I've got all the filters. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, I should be fine. We shall see. Let's go up here and we'll do the next set. Um, actually, let's do that, and we'll take off that top one. Okay, and then the same thing that we did earlier. Let's bring out shulker box, and you can hear there are some baddies hanging around in well we can't quite grip that one okay let's come over here maybe put it plop it down right there good okay gravel sand nether rack okay and this is the last batch right here that we'll do so really all in all not too much on our bulk storage but that's fine we're going to start on this side same thing four filters and we'll go all the way down the line leaving one and there we go and then once we get this thing done what we need to do is go through and put water streams in and I need to show you the very top part of our system so let's just do this this can get rather old and maybe I should have waited to program this off camera but I do want to bring you in for a little bit more than what I usually do it's usually just a bunch of jump cuts and sometimes you don't really see what I'm doing so here we go and we'll put the last of the filters in leave one of these excellent all right so then we'll come down here and then go to the very front all right and take out all of these like so and how's that grass doing it seems to be doing fine start over here gravel sand and the rack and the ores and then the coal excellent all right now next order of business let's go up top side and you'll see kind of the first part of this not in here this is just an empty area and okay there we go if you come up here we've got a trap chest and there's a hopper under it that trap chest leads to a dropper that has one of those observer clocks on it and that is what spits items out into our storage system so that's what we're doing up here we need to get up top sign take a look at that and I came in on the wrong side of our system here all right so what we'll do is plop over here and we'll grab some of that ice and I did not bring everything I needed. No, 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 no indeed. Let's put that right there. Okay, and then what I need is uh, to get some slabs and I don't have all the materials with me, so I'll be back in just a moment. All right, slabs in hand. Here is the dropper. I've got the water stream just slightly to uh, further over from the dropper so that these items are guaranteed to be shot into running water. And it comes over here and we can see that's not quite good enough. And then what have we got over here? Well, what we need to do is make sure that we've got water that is going to be pushing all the items into these two chests right here. So that means we need a slab right there. And then we'll do water right there. And that should should be good right there. Yeah, hopefully. We'll put some water right here. And we just keep on keeping on all the way down. And that should be good right there. 
And then another one. Okay, and then right here at the end, we need to make sure that we put a sign that just doesn't do anything. That should be fine. If we go over here, we can have a problem. Hopefully not. And let's just see. Something that gets shot in, but does not go into this bulk storage. Maybe a piece of ice. Let's do that. It should just continue on and have no problem. And it stops right there. Well, that's going to be a problem. I need it to drop and that's uh, it's not happening. So I'm going to have to figure something else out right there. So let me go take care of that. I'll bring you back in just a moment. All right, let's try that. And I think I may have missed it. Yep, I missed it. Well, it didn't get stuck, and now what we should see is that it gets thrown down into our sorting system, which we're going to miss, to be sure. But let's, how about this? Let's just chuck one of those items in, and we'll see if we can get down there while it's doing its whole lag fest thing. And it shouldn't be a lag fest. I do have a bunch of torches up there that should be keeping the whole thing from just really going going too nuts. It should be going in. Hmm. I may have to test that out some more. Let's see if we put in that very top section, let's go throw a lot of items into the whole thing. Something that we don't really care about so much but that's not going to get into our larger system We've got a bunch of nether bricks we got 41 there it should end up well we just need to make sure that it's showing up in into our sorting system and we'll come down here just watch to see if if our system turns on Indeed it does. Okay, so we've got a working sorting system. Um, well, at least for now. And and yeah, so um, I had mentioned possibly getting into designing this whole thing in this episode, but uh, this episode length time is getting out of control. So we're going to have to kind of put that off. So Let's take a look you can see kind of what i'm doing here we're bringing in the spruce logs again here around the top but you notice that our our ladder right here no good i don't like it right there we're gonna have to come up with some other way of getting in here and getting around but uh, it's pretty much time to bid adieu for this this episode so close that off and now we've got we've got a storage system Pretty exciting so now we can grab all of our our stuff from all around and consolidate it in here we just need to get uh, got to get a few more shulker boxes fill those in and do the different colors all the way around but but yeah i'm gonna do some of that off camera join me next week as we get to decorating this and figuring out a better solution than just a ladder that's gonna be it for now hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already Think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. It's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.